Uh, happy Halloween, everybody. So in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about NLST. I made some trades in that. Then after that, we're gonna hop right over into you guys. I'm still in you guys right now. So enough of that, let's get right into NLST, then right over to you guys. All right, guys, we got NLST here. Now I gotta admit, um, there was a lot of things that I didn't calculate into this when I made my last video about NLST. I was kind of blinded by it because they just won this huge case and all of my technical stuff, everything went right out of my head. All I saw was they won this enormous case. This stock should run, it should run hard. And it really didn't hit me until what happened until yesterday, which would be Wednesday. So let's talk here a little bit about NLST and, and why it is dropping after they just won this huge case. When a stock gaps up this hard, you see this big gap here, there's, there's, there's nothing there. So if this stock doesn't keep running, technicals come into play, this gap down here has to be filled. And I saw this yesterday when I was down here. It should have hit me on Tuesday, but I just wanted to make sure that the stock wasn't going to keep going up. And sure enough, it dropped down. So it's starting to fill this gap. And that's why I sold all of my shares yesterday on Wednesday. And I did say in the video, I am going to invest in this company and I'm in it for the long haul. And that still is very true. But when I am 90% sure that it is going to fill this gap, I want to go ahead and I want to take my profits. The stock market's not going to give you opportunity to take profits like this. So when you have them and you know that it's going to drop, take your profits. And that's what I ended up doing. Now, I plan on buying back an NLST. So right now it's about at 30 35 cents and if we get down here the gap up basically started right around 32.82 so i still believe it's going to fill this gap it's going to go down to that 32.82 mark now the other big thing is they're actually going through dilution still so this could drop down even further so i might be looking at maybe buying a little bit at 32.82 mark and if it keeps dropping you know i'm going to drop my average down that's basically what i did last time but we could see this going back down to about 28 cents i personally don't think it's going to happen but it's very very possible that it could but they also have news coming out I think it's next week so that could also drive this stock up as well but basically I'm waiting for that high 32 mark to get back into NLST so just a reminder if you got into this stock because of me please do your own due diligence because when it comes down to it I don't pull the trigger on these stocks you do and it is your hard-earned money and I'm gonna be honest yesterday when I sold my NLST I made a pretty good profit but you know what I wasn't happy it was I've got retching feeling in my stomach. I did not like selling it. But the technical side of my head told me, you need to sell this because it's going to keep dropping. You know it. It has to fill that gap. And that's why I sold. And it hurt basically because I believe in this company, NLST. Okay, enough of this sad story. Let's go right over here to you gas. So I talked about this in one of my videos. I can't remember which one about this channel here that I drew. And so far, I've been right about something. That you guys is just going to go bouncing back and forth off these walls down this channel. Hello. Good evening, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, it's Jeff. Good evening, Jeff. I almost hung up on CarMax there. They're actually coming to drop a car off in my house that I'm going to test drive today that I actually might buy. Whew. I almost thought it was a spam call for a minute there. But anyways, let's get right back into what I was saying here. So if it keeps doing what it's been doing, I'm looking for you guys to pop back up here around 1460 or so because it has been bouncing off hard support right around 1243 here. So of course it's Thursday today, so the natural gas report came out. And of course we were higher than we were last week. We really weren't that much higher. So that's basically telling a lot of people, maybe it's time to get into it because it's starting to turn the other way, turn to you gas. And this guy right here just wrote this article, gas price prediction. Prices rally on because cold weather is forecast. Well, of course winter's coming. I mean, you don't need to be a brain surgeon to know that. And if you're thinking about investing into you gas, I think the best time would be right around November. That's when the you gas rally really, really starts to happen. But I'm not going to read this article to you guys because there's nothing really special in it. And I think this time when we start pushing up, I actually think we're going to break this 1465 resistance. So let me draw out what I think is going to end up happening. So this is the best drawing too that I can find on Thinkorswim, but let me show you what I think is going to end up happening. I think we're going to end up pushing up around here and we're going to hit resistance right around 1542-ish. Do that, bounce back down, and then I can't draw anymore, but then we're gonna bounce off of that. And I think we're gonna start an upward channel basically going right into winter. And this time frame that I'm talking about, this could be two weeks. But this is my prediction of what is gonna end up happening with you gas. I think we're gonna end up breaking out of this channel. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I believe there's a little green thing down there. You can just tap on that and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button or the like button. I don't, what platform is this? What are we on, YouTube? Give me your money.